Hello everyone, welcome to a session on interviews. I am Neeraj from 7 Sense Talent Solutions. If you are wondering what is the HR wanting to know from me or what is the HR expecting from me, always uh, you are, I, I receive questions, what will a HR expect, what will you expect from a candidate? See, first thing decision making skills, go getter attitude, result oriented skills and problem solving and thinking ability. So these are the only things you know a HR will expect from you but there is no perfect or set answers for all these things how do I show go getter attitude probably you can you know show that enthusiasm in whenever a question is asked you know uh, trying to uh, answer that question even if you don't know uh, you know uh, you can start by telling uh, correct me if I am wrong uh, but this is the answer that I know so definitely so you are already giving a heads up that I am going to try this even if I don't know but still that shows your go getter attitude and result oriented skills Result oriented skills is nothing but you are you should have proper uh, skill set for the job that you are applying. If you have C++ or Java knowledge for a design job in mechanical engineering, it doesn't match. So right skills for that particular job is always required. And problem solving and thinking ability. See, sometimes the HR will trick you by asking uh, problems or any you know, logical problems. So make sure you have that problem solving skills and make sure you have read a uh, you know, couple of books where you know, case studies at least if you are, you know, especially when you are applying for a management job, right? If you are applying for that kind of management job, make sure you have know a couple of case studies where uh, problems have been tackled. What are the common problems? So have that problem solving ability, you know, thinking capability. So this is all a HR would be looking or uh, wanting to know from you. And finally, self-confidence is the key. Be you, believe in yourself, right? And next, now moving on to the questions that will, you know, usually come. So these are the set of questions that usually uh, comes to um, an interviewee from an interviewer. Now let's try to tackle a few from this uh, lot. So it can be generic, it can be moderate, it can be a trapper. So these are the three uh, sections which I will divide the questions into. So the first one, all right, coming to the biggest or uh, the most uh, asked question on the table, tell me about yourself. You never get a second chance to this answer. Like you, if you make a wrong impression here, you never get a second chance to correct this. So how to answer this, tell me about yourself. Now everybody goes blank or everybody starts with, uh, okay, whenever you ask, tell me about yourself, they think that, okay, I'll talk about uh, my family, I'll talk about my pets, I'll talk about my that, this, everything, no. That is not what the HR wants to know. HR is least bothered in knowing about your pet's name, your sister's name, brother's name, what are they doing, how many siblings do you have. They are least bothered. So you can start with a small introduction of yourself, your name, and you can tell them uh, you come from a family of four or five. That is all. You don't have to tell everybody's name there. So uh, I am Neeraj. I come from a family of four. Now, then you talk about your interest into the subject. Now, why have you chosen this particular subject and what is your interest into the subject? And the next thing that you should be thinking is what value can you bring to the company that you are applying? Right? This is the main thing that the HR wants to know. See, this question is not about you. What do you want? I want a stable job. I want this. I want that. Don't make it about me. Give it to them so give value to the company so the HR wants to know what value can you bring to the company all right so make sure you be yourself but be your best self right don't always lead with your strong foot it's all it's always told okay be honest in the interview yes I agree to that but you know be your best self it's just like a date you don't tell all the things that you of yours all the bad thing good things weaknesses in the first place so start on talking about you know uh, strengths and tie it back to everything that you tell tie it back to what's in it for them right okay this is the success mantra for this particular questions remember these three s's okay s s number one success now talk about a success story of yours or uh, using that skills that you have and tell okay this is what I have achieved right talk about a success story and then this is what I have achieved and this is what I can do to your the same uh, your company too so that is your first is second one strength talk about your greatest strength your skill you know your understanding on the subject your understanding on the knowledge or your understanding on the end user of that product right 
so talk about your strength and third thing talk about the situation here i mean like why do you want to get or why are you the right person to get hired for this particular job role right so when you talk about your success your strengths and your skills and other things you you have already answered this particular questions why are you the right fit for this job right so please go through the you know uh, job application job description when it is given to you get to know what is the company about what are they into and what is the technology that they are using the latest technology and how can you be a help to the company so i'll i'll tell you this probably is the right answer for this particular question tell me about yourself now if you have observed for just for me to explain what to tell I mean, what are the points to tell it took me around 3 minutes but imagine if you are uh, talking about yourself and explaining all those with an example it will take easily around 5 minutes to tell about yourself which is a good amount or good number of time you know uh, to talk to your interviewer always remember try to spend maximum time with your interviewer but not boring him don't give him information that he doesn't want to know or it, it doesn't matter for the job that you are applying always keep this thing in mind what value can you bring to the company or what value can you bring to them so this is what uh, is an ultimate mantra to answer this particular question or to crack this question and always remember to make sure you talk about your projects and internships so uh, as i've told you your resume should go hand in hand you cannot put all the projects and all the internship that you have done in the resume because the resume can run only to two pages not more than that so talk about those internships and uh, you know projects or any uh, you know such academic activities that you have uh, carried out uh, in your schooling or in your college Um, which is not there in your resume that gives another you know interesting patch where you can you know discuss with your hr and please do not think this again this is not a viva where you are answering a question and he is only asking you so if you you know ask something there if in the middle that is also fine so make it a formal conversation don't make it a viva all right now moving to the next question strengths and weaknesses this is probably the second question that will come to you that will follow up right what are your strengths and weaknesses and when when uh, hr asks this question if you tell i do not have any weakness or if you tell a lame weakness or a lame strength again you are shooting yourself in the foot so make sure you know your strengths what is your strength probably if somebody asks me i would tell okay i am uh, people who work uh, with me have told me that i am very organized or if you ask people who work around me um, they tell me that i am very organized so i like to keep things uh, in a proper place i have this ocd where i have to you know keep things in its place so i would like to be very organized if you look at my you know apps or the folders in my laptop they are very organized i can reach them you know, reach out to them whenever i want and easily search and get whatever i want next what are your weaknesses and if somebody asked me what is your weakness i would definitely tell about okay i am not an avid multitasker i'd rather prefer uh, you know focusing or concentrating on a particular job and finishing it soon rather than you know taking multiple things at hand and uh, not having to uh, you know give my full to a particular job so i am not an avid multitasker but i like to you know uh, focus on one particular job and finish it as soon as possible so this is how you can answer this particular question what are your strengths and weaknesses do not give lame weaknesses like my handwriting is not good i don't you uh, know i believe people too easily this is not what a hr wants to know so it, your answers should always remember should always be tied to what is in it for them so if you are organized they would like you if you are a person who focuses on work they would like you if you are a person who are good at multitasking they would like you definitely right now moving on to the next questions tell me about your projects or internships so you need to talk about your projects and internships that you have done but make sure the projects and internships that you have done has some connection to the job that you are applying right if there is no connection to it there is no point on ranting on it right so make sure you tell a project or internship that helps to get this job because uh, that is what uh, or the internship and the job profile matches right so make sure you talk more about your internships and projects like i said it should go hand in hand do not put everything in the resume every detail of the project in the resume make sure you keep that uh, in a box where you open it only in front of your interviewer right so 
talk properly about your you know internships and projects when it comes to the interview now let's look at more moderate questions uh, in uh, that is asked in the interview it can be what's your contribution to the college now this is a trapper because not everybody has contributed to the college or if you might think now what have i contributed to the college see what is your contributed to the what is your contribution to the college first being a responsible student first contribution to the college next if you have you know won any competitions if you have represented your college in any uh, events outside or to other colleges that is one contribution to the college so you can talk about those you know events or those sports where you have represented your college um, in the city or in district or in the states or in uh, in the nationals also and if you do not have any of that right you can always tell uh, you know i was a responsible student you know uh, and following the rules and being a responsible student in not littering the campus or destroying the college property and being um, respectable to uh, the you know lecturers and every coworker uh, every colleague of mine i mean every classmate of mine so that is how you can answer this particular questions and i'll pick questions randomly from this slot and let us see what is the next question uh, what do you consider as your biggest achievement so you can talk about one of your biggest achievements you do not uh, talk about any achievements of your sports or any any uh, such so right i do have uh, you know examples where students have uh, given me of how do i have they achieved a, a good thing you know go, a big in sports uh, from an underdog to a, a champion so if you have such cases you can definitely talk about see it should finally tell about your you know uh, character the way you work hard the way you are you know uh, focused on to the job the way the passion towards that so it should talk about those things your achievement should talk about your passion to the job your uh, you know um, person who work works hard so it should depict all that uh, from this particular question next any question for me now if you have observed in the video oh uh, Uh, she asks a question to the interviewer about the project that you uh, know that they are going to uh, carry out so always go through the company's profile company's you know website and get to know what are the projects that they are working on or what are the latest technology that they have acquired so you can get it everywhere twitter instagram facebook wherever if you want to follow you can definitely and the greatest tool linkedin so try to you now follow that particular company or the recruiter and on linkedin and get to know what is the company about what is the job role about and you can definitely ask this questions and uh, and whenever this question is asked uh, any questions for me don't ask okay why is your company logo this who kept the name like this these are all stupid questions to ask to the interviewer and now finally coming to the trapper questions okay here these trapper questions are um, used it's nothing personal here it's used to uh, get to know what uh, how can you you know manage your anger or how can you manage yourself when these questions are asked it's not only about anger it how can you manage yourself self management uh, and the first question let's see do you have a girlfriend see it doesn't have anything to do with the job but still the interviewer asks if you are confident about it if you do not have anything to tell you can tell okay i have a girlfriend or if you don't have you, you can tell i know i don't have a girlfriend simple and nothing to hesitate you, you, you might not answer you know uh, that's none of your business not your choice or this is not something that is you know relevant to the job not required don't try to create a scene out there so just keep it simple right and these are the questions that anybody would ask you right so it's nothing different from the hr so don't try to put up an attitude there so when the questions are asked do you have a girlfriend just try to answer the question yes i have one or no i don't have one right and same way goes to uh, the girls now let's look at the next question would you live for the company now when this particular question is asked uh, he, just, he just wants to know how dedicated he, he is or how ethical he is more than dedicated now if somebody asked me this question i would definitely tell i wouldn't mind if if it doesn't harm any end user or any um, or anybody for that matter i would definitely but if uh, only provided if this doesn't harm anyone in any way so probably that is the uh, best answer that i could give for this particular question if you have any please do comment on the comment section and how much money do you want how much money do you want 
so if you are an experienced candidate then probably you can negotiate on this but if you are a fresher you will already have received this on your uh, job description right uh, this is the salary that we are offering and yet still they if they ask this questions you can definitely tell uh, anything around uh, the ctc that is mentioned is fine but anything below that uh, it would be difficult for me to you know uh, join which means that you are not agreeing anything for less than that see you will have to understand this you would have agreed or you would have sat for the interview because you are you are okay with the ctc you are okay with the job role you are okay with everything if you are not okay with the ctc in the first place you would have not sat for the interview so anything around the ctc right you are okay but anything below it uh, it will be difficult for you can tell it will be difficult for me to join keep that simple keep it that simple right so now that is about uh, the three trapper questions and yes we'll definitely meet you in another video for more such information if you if you have a particular question that you want to ask or any questions that you have uh, to ask please drop in the comment uh, section so that in the next video i'll try to answer them thank you